Yes, it is me, Martin Vendor here again today. Well, I see a lot of discussion going on about the price reductions and about the guarantee put in place for guaranteed costs of petrol, diesel and gasoline by the Honorable Prime Minister for the next few months to try to keep the cost of living down and to ensure that the price of transportation in Barbados is not out of hand. And I see that some of the taxi men say, well, they are happy with it. Others still would like to see a further reduction. Of course, we would all like to see it and maybe even for free. But you see me, market vendor, I got a long-term solution I would like to put to the fellas out there who drive in the ZRs, who drive in the minibuses, who drive in the tour buses, and who drive in the taxis. Now, there's a solution that could actually bring down your bill to zero, but it's going to involve a little investment. And I feel you need to do the mathematics too as well. Because if I, market vendor, was driving a taxi, all I know so I would be applying to the government to look for a license for a taxi that will allow me to go and buy a new vehicle that is going to be an electric vehicle. An electric taxi, we already got electric buses about Barbados, and I'm sure that that contributing to a massive reduction in the price of the fuel paid by the Barbados Transport Board. I'm only a market vendor, but seriously, what is the main thing that a taxi can use? What's the main thing that a bus can use the minibuses, ZR, or whatever you want to call it. It's gasoline or diesel on a daily basis. And I believe he's used a lot of it too as well. So if, as I understand, I could get four or five hundred kilometers out of a, you know, a single charge, well, it would make a lot of sense, it would seem to market, for me to now invest in one of them vehicles. You can tell me, but market, my vehicle is only three or four years. I said, well, sell them then, eh? Sell them to somebody who might want it. You understand? And I believe that you entitle every five years or so. I don't know if it's five, six, seven years, but you entitle together duty free vehicle. If you got a license. So if you got that license already, then all you got to do is to look at how much money you spend in the gasoline. And if you got a little photovoltaic no one by your house, it means that the charging of the vehicle can be for free. And even if you had to pay for the charging, it can be pennies in relation to the money that you're spending in gasoline. I'm only a market vendor, but it makes sense to me. If I drive in taxi and I drive in taxi every day, why well, feel that my bill can be up over a thousand dollars? But as the car payment right there, so huh? Yes, it makes sense for you to go and do that. I am only a market vendor. Because it seemed to me that the price of gasoline and diesel at the end of the day, you might get a little temporary thing, but with the madman up in, 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 in Russia, you know how things going to be, you know, and you don't know that the big, the big fellas out there, the big oil fellas, we don't see from the, the, the results that them getting and the profits that they're making in the second quarter of this year alone, that them out there gouging out and digging out your eyes and taking advantage of the situation so that them and the shareholders can benefit. So don't look for the lower, lower price oil anytime in the future. Use the solution that you got, and that is to get an electric vehicle. Well, if you somebody in the electric vehicle business, a sponsor market vendor. I only go out for now, but you have a blessing and a wonderful day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't talk about the problems. Look for solutions, my brother.